Hi everyone, it's Felix and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the one-arm handstand flag, one of the very impressive variations of the one-arm handstand. One of the reasons why I love this skill is that it's a very strength dominant variation because of the low center of gravity and increased distance from the pivot point, which in turn decreases the amount of balance required to perform this element. If you are a professional calisthenics athlete, I would recommend learning this element on your dominant arm first. The reason for this is that as you learn this element, you will develop poor form along the way as part of the learning curve. After you have mastered this element on your dominant arm, you will then want to switch focus to your other arm. The prerequisites you will need is a regular freestanding handstand for at least 30 seconds to make sure you have sufficient hand balancing to start learning to balance on one arm. You will want to make sure you have 10 freestanding handstand push-ups to ensure that you have sufficient shoulder strength to hold the position for a good amount of time. In regards to form, the first thing you want to make sure is that you have a good bend in your hips at about a 90 degree angle. This is to demonstrate the cleanest form possible, but also to minimize the center of gravity. You will also want to make sure that your head is positioned slightly off to the opposite side of the arm which you are balancing on. This is because as you flag your legs off to one side, you are also increasing the distance to the pivot point. And in the same way as you would balance anything, you will also want the opposite side of the pivot point to be an equal distance in order to achieve equilibrium. Also by extending your non-balancing arm away from your body, you are helping your body to achieve this equilibrium. In your earlier days of having learned this skill, you may also want to slightly bend the arm which you are balancing on. This is so that you can engage more muscles in your arm, such as your triceps and anterior deltoid, to assist in stabilization. By doing so, you will also slightly decrease the center of gravity, which in turn will make balancing this position easier. Now for our first progression, we have the handstand flag leans. You will realize when learning the one-arm handstand flag that it is very difficult to reach that 90 degree angle that I spoke of previously. This is because at the earliest stage of training, your body has not developed the flexibility required to attain this position. By doing handstand flag leans, you are stretching the muscles required to reach this position. You should aim to transition between leaning on both sides. This is to also help develop your ability to control your handstand in a lopsided position. You should aim to lean and hold that position for at least 5 seconds to allow your body to develop the neural connections that will transfer into the one-arm handstand flag. The second progression is the assisted straddle one-arm handstand flag. Once you are comfortable with holding your handstand in a lopsided position with lower center of gravity, you can start to remove some assistance from the non-balancing hand. By using a straddle position, you decrease the distance to the pivot point, which in turn decreases the amount of strength required to hold this position. You'll want to slightly pinch the bar at the beginning and aim to hold that position for at least 5 seconds. Do not be too eager to throw your hand away too early before being able to attain good balance with that level of assistance. And lastly, you want to use just your thumb as assistance and aim to hold that position for at least 5 seconds before moving to the next progression. The third progression is the assisted full one-arm handstand flag. Now that you are familiar with the straddle position, you are ready to enter the full position. However, keep in mind that the jump from straddle to full position is rather significant in terms of the strength required. This will mean that your hold time in the position will decrease. One important thing you'll want to keep in mind when training for balance elements is that you want to maximize the time your body spends in the position in order to speed up adaptation. As you improve in this progression, you will gradually get a feel for the sweet spot and you will want to know how to calibrate for misbalance. In order to bridge the gap between the assisted and full position, you want to gradually decrease the amount of force you are using with your thumb rather than switching to a weaker finger. The one-arm handstand flag is a skill that requires a lot of patience and commitment in order to achieve. But if you are a calisthenics athlete, then remember that by learning this skill, the strength and balance acquired will transfer to many other calisthenics skills, such as the regular one-arm handstand and the one-arm plunge. If you are not a calisthenics athlete, but would like to build muscle and strength in your shoulders and core, as well as to improve coordination and flexibility to a superhuman level, then this exercise will also be for you. Also remember that with all hand balancing skills, balance is something that you feel and not find. There is no perfect position to find, 
there is only control involved with hand balancing and being able to calibrate your balance in all possible planes of this balance, whether it be forwards, backwards, left, right, or even diagonally. I want to give a shout out to Effortless, Ultimate AU, Science Squad, and Gore Nation for the clothing, equipment, and accessories provided here today in this video. Effortless is an NZ calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics clothing and accessories. Ultimate AU is an Australian calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics equipment, clothing, accessories, and host Australasian-wide calisthenics competitions. Science Squad is an Australian calisthenics team that has competed in multiple calisthenics competitions all over Australasia. And Gore Nation is arguably the world's largest calisthenics equipment and clothing provider. Before we end this video, if you are interested in personal training, please fill in the Google form in my bio. I will also drop the link in the description of this video. And follow me on Instagram at Felix underscore NG 2K03. That is where I post a lot of my calisthenics content. And if you're keen to see a tutorial for another calisthenics skill, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can put together. I love you all and thanks for watching.